Hey, little bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown, extended, beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the vibes you know just really just you know really get you you know go ahead and give a thumbs up and share we greatly appreciate it so, so much love light upliftment and protection towards your way anything that you're needing to you know be able to keep you on on the float is coming your way always as always you know my my energetics signature as well as my image everything that's on this video is highly protected so if you're coming in with negative intent harm d distract or destroy whatever read between different things see how you can block it's it's already protected but it's all everything you got is coming back towards you a million times fold so it's that mine's going to be upliftment light ultimate healing and blessings so in the video i'm doing today it's called Twin Flame 101. Hey, oh, because you understood the assignment. You have passed the karmic test. Um, uh, you flipped the paradigm script. And it has strong, strongly transformed. It really has. You know, there's so many different things that has been taking taken place in our lives. Where, you know, when you're allowing yourself to do that shadow work. And y'all already know. Whew, shadow work is not easy. It really is not easy. Because you are really confronting your demons. You know, you are really, and this is at that time where you got to love them. You got to nurture them. You know, just like you want, you know, I always tell you, you need to go, enter, you know, heal your inner child. There's a lot of different things that has gone, uh, that has taken place in our life. You know, where it started off as being young, adolescents, you know, babies, whatever. That really probably hurt us in a different way to where we, the way we move through life. You know, where it was like, you may have abandonment issues. You may have neglect issues. You know, you don't gone through every abuse in the book. Um, where it, it made you not love yourself, it made you scared to put boundaries up, it made you scared to speak your, in your own truth, uh, being unapologetic, you know, about growth, you know, or, or you're you're going through external validation. You just really needed to be acknowledged, or you you know, be that type of person where you needed your ego stroke to make you feel empowered. And these are the different things that you really, you know, is allowing you to see, you know. Look at the table of contents throughout your life on how it's been unfolding. You know, you have came so far, so congrats to you. You know, a lot of times we're not exactly where we want to be in life. But these are the different things where, you know, you really had to confront your past. You know, see what different things are holding you back. You know, regardless of what, you know, others are doing. You know, that was a part of the antidote for you to be able to, you know, to heal whatever ails you, you know, and just understanding that that's, this is the part of the life where, you know, we're going to have good days, bad days, you're going to have different things that's going to make you question yourself, you know, make you feel like, am I on the right path or anything like that? When you know you're moving in good intent, even if you know you're putting out your all into everything that you, that's taking place into your life to really do that ultimate healing. And it's just not really, you're seeing it, but not as much as you would like to. You really just don't know what is taking place behind the things you don't see. You know, and you got to remind yourself of that sometimes, especially, you know, right now, it's like you don't realize you are spiking the meter scale. You don't even realize it. You, if you know you've been doing the work, you're allowing yourself to forgive and allow yourself to not forget. But remember the lessons, the things that you have been taught. You know, they always tell you the, the wrong people will teach you the right lessons, and that's true. You know, different things you going through trans transformation, you becoming that that new vibrant self, the part of you that you did not acknowledge or the part that you didn't even know existed. Because there's a part of yourself that wasn't even there yet. It, it just needs you within a whole. Like you got that part of yourself that was, you know, that is that ultimate warrior. You're the hybrid. If you know, if you're, you, you know, you're one of those, this is a part of you that left a space. And this is how I'm seeing it. You know, a space that. It was eating you. This is something that you going to mold as your baby. This is going to be that thing like you are the pro prototype. This is something that was ultimate. And you're going to get that from letting go of your old. Allowing yourself to forgive. Uh, see that everything that is coming towards you is really bringing lessons of blessings in so many different you know, forms and uh, 
avenues that you didn't even realize. You know, you're allowing yourself to become one within yourself, not allowing yourself to fear the unknown. You know, you're challenging yourself. You're allowing yourself to be challenged through the challenges that you're being placed in. Because right now, there may be th different things that you may be facing right now that are very uncomfortable. And it's really testing your faith, your patience, your belief within yourself, belief, belief in the system. You know, all these different things is really going on and you are trying your best. It will be different times where you may have, you know, you act, may have acted out of anger, acted out of envy, you know, acted out of fear. Now it may be that, that thing where before you even make a decision, you go to God and the universe about it. And this is a situation where they're teaching you. Yeah, come to us if you really don't know. Is this the right, you know, way to take it? Or even if you're not sure of that, start doing that. You know, and um, be different times where it's just like you'll notice the change in yourself. You know, you'll be one on one with your friends or whatever. Um, and then you'll be different things that it may brought out the the old part of you, like be different gossip and stuff like that. And you know, the inner stuff with you is this applying towards your growth on where you need to be going. Is this really taking place into your life? Are you really noticing that? And then it'll be, you know, no. It'll be even your soul will be talking to you like, why are you going back to that? Or it'll be different things. You may be talking to somebody at the store, you know, you get on something next to you know, somebody like, oh, that person get called, or you know, the phone will ring or something like that. Like, hey, get off of that. And you know, you'll know the universe is like, why are you talking about that? And so you're about to open a whole door you don't already closed about ten years ago. You know, it'll be different things like that. And your understanding when you really sat back, you, you became one of not allowing yourself to neglect your demons. You know, and it's, a, it's just like sometimes when people say that, you're thinking you possessed or not like that. But, you know, your demons are your old wounds. How you used to see different things. When you may have been in that low vibration. You may have been moving through, you know, low level frequency of your choices. Who you hung with. How you spoke on yourself. How you spoke on the world. These different things are like that. But allowing yourself to understand why did I do that. Maybe I had abandonment issues. So, I always wanted people around me. No matter how toxic it was or how bad they treated me. I just wanted to be known I wanted to be loved even though you have to understand that's not love that's trauma bonding that's that's uh, love bombing that's you know uh, toxic attachments those are karmic karmic attachments you know and then you had it, it put you on that 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 uh, on that path to be able to love yourself know thyself inside and out so above so below so within so without you know you're going through those different things you're allowing yourself to not fear you know, uh, other people on what their actions may be towards your path. Being able to say, you know, I'm I'm loved. I'm divinely protected. I, you know, I was chosen for this assignment. So anything that comes towards me is a lesson that I need to know within myself. You know, a lot of times we we were like, why does this got to keep happening to me? And we we had to be able to change the verbiage on that. Being able to say instead of why is this happening? What is it trying to teach me? You know, what do I need to know? Let go. And let God do this. You know, different things. This might, you know, anger. You don't allow yourself to come out of anger. You know, uh, out, out of your element of peace by that. You know, allowing yourself to see, you know, this can't affect you until you give it permission to affect you. If there's something that's coming at you in a passive aggressive way, you don't even have to respond to that. Or even if you do respond, and I'm not talking about react, but respond. Because I had a bad habit of always reacting. You know, while I was responding at the same time. And it was just my, my reaction was more powerful than my response. Or it was just truly not existent. And it'll be at that point like, okay, you know, you only have control over how you respond to things. You only have control about how you, you go about things. How you look at it. How you perceive it. You know, and you have to be able to keep reminding yourself to not take it personal when other things is coming towards you to try to distract you. And these are the different things where when you really sit back, you really sit back in life, you're going to you're gonna be grateful for all these different things that's taking place in your life because it made you a better person. It made you uh, know what the right within the wrong. You know, I've, I've said it a lot on my videos where I noticed the poor choice in, in connections with other people you know um where it's beneficial into my life and it's not saying that person was a poor choice but we connected through trauma you know we connected through abandonment issues we both had mommy daddy issues whatever and then it's showing you the different routes that you can take from healing from those things because you know um a lot of times your your path can be really lonely but i don't you know and i, I at times i can be very grateful for that 
um, because it allowed me to know myself better on a level. You know, because I used to always feel like I have to have a million people around me because I don't like being alone with my thoughts. I didn't want to allow myself to think about the things that was going on in my head and not realizing these are the things that's communicating with me that I really need to pay attention to so it can show, you know, so I can connect with it to really show me what I needed to heal from in my life, what did I need to release, what did I really have to come and atone for, you know, um, being able to allow myself to go through these challenges of, of really healing and learning myself for, so this situation can no longer haunt me, or these memories of, of certain people or certain sequences or certain uh, moments no longer haunt, you know, haunts me, but being able to appreciate it, you know, are these people still in your life? No, it's not, you know what was that situ situation try to show you what that person has done you know maybe that person's not used to genuine people so they manipulate their way through people or maybe that person was so used to being manipulated that's all only kind of you know language they know how to move through or that person projects that's only what you know they're used to you know and you're under giving an understanding on certain things that are going into your life even if it was something that really hit you deep you know and you if you got pulled that person out of your life because a lot of times like you know they always say god i'll kill a connection before that connection kill you there'll be different times where you can't you can't connect with other people like you used to or different times where karma will allow that person to keep disrespecting you just keep hurting you until you allow yourself to set yourself free like you know that that's not your kind of communication this is not a person that will act on different things if it was through the motions of love projection of love if this is not projecting out of positivity you know uh encouragement anything like that anything that takes you out of that situation that really drains you you have to separate yourself from these different things and so you're learning through the healing of involvement that is really taking place in your life that is truly beneficial and you're changing that paradigm you know how you do things how you relate to things you know allowing yourself to only collect one flag you know red flag you know be a lot of times where we probably you know I know I have you know collect a lot of red flags and that only that one you know showed me it's like they always tell you when you get to know somebody you know when you talk to them within an hour their character will really show you you know different things or it'd be like hey there's something about that person i can't keep my finger on and that's why when you have situations like that there's something you just there's something about that person that you it just haven't been revealed trust if you don't if you get out of that person's life like that or whatever just automatically okay they're always telling you you know when you're allowing yourself to work through your gut your intuitive your intuition you're not disrespecting yourself by overriding something that's trying to clearly protect you from and you're allowing yourself to a you know you got to be say be able to say no at times or this is at that time you really need to strengthen your boundaries you know different things if it'll be somebody that may you know get mad at you for putting those boundaries up nine times out of ten is a person because the fact is that they're not it's not allowing them to be in that vibration to manipulate you anymore there'll be different people if they want you to respect their boundaries they're going to understand why you have to be they got to respect yours as well you know and you'll just see is you know the connections that i'm getting connections with is is this being reciprocated or is this person you know you may somebody wants you to probably uh accommodate them but they're not accommodating you. You know, you're seeing different situations where you're seeing that you are in an abusive relationship, narcissistic relationship. You're connected with people that are trauma bonding you. You understand about codependency, uh, different things that that became your fail safe or, you know, uh, toxic attachments. You know, a lot of different things that, you know, we went through our life by constantly ignoring. These are all like the context clues of your knowing uh, the, uh, the assignment to be able to achieve everything that was in, in that vibration that really was needing to heal you and these are all beneficial towards us you know when we can really look uh, you know allow ourselves to really look back anything that happened in our lives was you know either negative or positive you know we we have to really not put that label on that you know and a lot of times it's hard to do that you know pretending to what it is and put it that way you know so let me go ahead and retort pretending on what it is because there are a lot of times like you could have really went through something like somebody off their self in front of you or somebody took you know somebody's life in front of you or something like that it, it takes time to be able to heal from those different things um but it, it's just a lot of things in our life they always tell us never put a, a narrative on 
you know, this was a, a positive experience, this is a negative experience, but this is an experience that helped me learn myself in a different way. This is the, uh, th this experience or uh, situation that took place in my life really made me want to have better choices in the people, the company I, I keep, or the people I date, or, you know, the people I you know allow myself to be around you know certain things that I might say you know these are the different things that we all had to go through in our life maybe you were that type of person you could have really been you know really protecting a person you would have said something good about that person but if you know if you were around people that really are already you know jaded or you know they, they're the per type of people that create drama you could be that type of person you said something really nice about that person but then by the time it got towards that person and came back to you, it was something really negative. It was like, no, I didn't say that. You know, this, this, and this, and that. And next thing you know, this done popped off. You know, especially when I was in school, this mess happened all the time. And it, it just allowed me to know. And it could have been something negative or, you know, it could have been gossip, whatever. My mom always told me, don't say nothing once, you can't say it twice. You know, a lot of times you got to just keep your, your opinions to yourself. Because there will be some people that are probably envious of you. Or they just don't like you just because. You know, and they love drama. What Somebody will carry a bone, you know, bring a bone, they'll carry one back. And they'll be teaching those different things. Just allow yourself to keep your opinions to yourself. You know, allow yourself, if there's anything that you, you it, it could be about another person, you bring it towards that person, not towards somebody else. Because by the time you get back to that person, it'll be something totally different from what you said. And you know, different things like that you know I really look back at my life and it allowed me to be very selective you know I be became a loner you know I've been like that for a while and I actually became comfortable with it sometimes it could be lonely but then it'll be I had to be able to look and it's just like I noticed that I'm not attracting as many toxic people as I used to so that's letting me know I'm healing all my toxic vibrations so there's a lot of people that if I talk to they love speaking that universal love language and that's the kind of jazz I like to be able to reciprocate towards people being in that vibration where we can talk about different things and you know there'll be sometimes you really truly need to vent with somebody if you know you got somebody that you can really you know really count on and you already know that person is not gonna you know be out here telling your business or it could be a weakness that they're not gonna use against you and just being able to just vent or it'll be something it'll be you know vibration is like do you really need to talk about that it's something that you know you speaking on it you think it may change when you when you think that way you know it is it's like there are certain things that don't even need to be addressed you already know if you are done fixed it you leave it alone but it is just like um but you also want to be able to have a camp around you that if we can laugh together we should be able to cry together too you know so you're you're seeing all these different situations that you have really gone through and it made you very selective about the things that you did and even when when it's showing you to show gratitude towards the most hurtful situations you've been in because when that that opportunity sees to come up again through different people then it'll bring you back up to something because it's like you can really have gone and healed and let go of a certain situation and it may be something somebody come up and it can be something totally innocent but it reminds you of that situation you went through that really burnt you bad or really cut you bad and then you're you're allowing yourself like you know what I learned from this lesson a long time ago you know even though it, it can be having a, a positive intention it, you know it won't, won't be anything that they were trying to do but it just reminds you of that it's like no you know just the sake of argument the sake of you know hurt my character or whatever you know I, I don't want to talk about that or no you know I don't want to speak on that person or no you know be certain things like that well you had to be able to go through and then you're going to understand why you had to go through a lot of different things that you know you did you weren't you were ignoring the red flags you know there's a lot of times we've gone through things and we may give excuses oh that person was in a bad mood or you know that's how they are or you know um oh when they get to know you they don't act like that but then you're uh, you're also noticing when you when you're making these excuses is it's like oh you were ignoring the red flags they clearly showed you who that person was the first time allow yourself to let that go anything that is is just straight toxic is straight draining this is a person that you have to you have to move from a distance you can allow yourself to forgive people and just don't have to bring them back in your life just you know somebody purposely uh you know go out there and purposely comes into their way and say you know what hey you know i really hurt you and i do apologize for you know what i said or how i did something or the way you may be 
perceiving it, you know, and I really felt bad about that. And you can, you know, you can forgive them. It, you know, be some people, hey, you know, they were very genuine with it, so let me bring them back. But then it's just like, when you see that became a habit for somebody, you have to understand that's just how they are. And they're expecting, anytime I act this way, and I can say I'm sorry, you automatically bring them back into your life. And you see that became a pattern. You know, first time, it can be shame on you. Second time, be shame on, you know, shame on them. Second time, shame on you. But then it's becoming where you're seeing this is a habitual, you know, pattern for that person. So let me allow myself to take my patterns and go on somewhere else, you know. And then you're allowing yourself to do that. And it will be just different times where you you have to be able to um, see things for what they truly are. And when you, when you notice that it, things are not being reciprocated, then you cut it loose. Or you see that different things is always trying to make, you know... It could be someone who always trying to make low blow jokes when you know that they're truly hating on you or envious of you, you know, or always trying to be passive aggressive. You'll start noticing these different things and being able to say, you know what, I appreciate those situations. You know, there'll be different times where, you know, it could be you're going down a list. Well, why did that person hurt me? Why did this and this and that? You have to understand. Maybe you're not the first person. You ain't going to be the last person they've done that to. There's nothing wrong with you. It's something wrong with that situation, you know, and you just have to understand how people are the way they are and just allow yourself to exit yourself out the equation or just allowing myself to know okay this is trauma bonding this is love bombing you know and then when you're allowing yourself to see what these are because I don't know before I started doing videos I didn't know what trauma bonding was or sociopaths or narcissist and you know uh, codependency was you know I thought codependency was you know like a drug or something I didn't know what it was but then it was just like when I say my spiritual path of uncovering has really 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 taught me so much that I can really really be uh saying is truly beneficial even it's like even the different things that really caused trauma into my life I can say was a blessing that was truly beneficial off of me it allows me to help me make better choices within myself the, the company I choose to keep you know um when you're allowing yourself to really you know grow and you're entering a new vibration that you never expected yourself to go through you have to be able to expect the unexpected history is going to repeat itself you know be different people and it's probably low key watching you, and it's just like, oh, you know, I didn't destroy that person the first time. Let me come back in. I'm like, hey, stranger. You're like, oh, Lord, here we go. You know, it'd be something like that. And it'll be different things where, you know, I, I mean, there's di different people that came into my life, and I had to be like, oh, you know, I remember the last time what happened, and just had to be, oh, I, I can't, you know, bring you back. You know, you really showed me who you were. And those different things and it's like I'm not holding that against you but I just can't bring you back you know and different times people will get irate with you or people will have to just like okay I don't want to force myself on that person and you just still keep moving on and you just still send blessings their way you know you don't have to because a lot of time people feel like you forgive somebody you have to bring them back into your life and it's like no I can forgive you and not ever speak to you in life again you know and still be wishing you well even though if that person hurt me I'm gonna still wish you well you know I'm allowing myself to you know I'm on my grind I'm focusing on my blessings you know paper chasing you know creating more things that I want to manifest into my life you know but I appreciate every single thing that I had to go through to get there because if I didn't go through these things I wouldn't know how hard to grind for what I really wanted more than what I wanted being able to allow myself to do different things that scare the heck out of me because it's showing me what kind of hidden talent I didn't even know I had being able to let go of things that's no longer serving me serving me because it showed me so much of what I held on to that held me back you know allowing myself to not entertain neg negativity because that's just a distraction that universe has placed on my path just to see if I'm gonna allow myself to focus on that or I'm gonna clearly get distracted by the distractions and these are the different things where you're changing the paradigm from the old to the new you're allowing yourself to be able to appreciate everything from your past that really taught you even if it's the things that really shook you to the core because it allowed you to get in touch with something that needed your acknowledgement for you to be able to understand where the growth really needs to take place at you know we're, we're still allowing ourselves to still be on that you know uh on the things that really hurt us is just showing us right there we had to really connect with those demons we had to really connect with that path you know um and allowing yourself to really understand these are the different things that makes me still pick 
you know, traumatic people or still pick uh, to be in that vibration of being in negativity or, you know, low frequency, you know, low balling and stuff like that. When I'm really trying to reach myself up and when we do that, you know, you're going to have to move a different way. You're going to have to speak a different way. You know, being able to, you know, still stay focused, be but observant in your surroundings, being able to know when you're being at prey, you know, and different, di different things like that. And you're going to be appreciative, you know, because it's just like so much stuff that went on in my life and I, I just didn't want the same verbiage on why I'm still in this vibration being able to say yes these are the different things that went on into my life I'm being very unapologetic about it pushed out you know because it was like my last video I did about me and my dad it really made me feel liberated when I said that because it allowed me to step out of the fear from you know dropping names these are the different things that went on in my life I had to allow myself to not be moving in fear worrying about what other things are happening because it's just like you know um you can't say somebody's defaming your, your, you know, your character when you know you got proof behind the different things that's going on. It's not like you're trying to make somebody look bad, but this is what you did. <laughs> you know, this is what you did. This is what got me in my feelings like that. But I had to be able to let that go and being able to know when God made me make that move, I just sat it there and let God do the rest. You know, so I allowed myself to make peace with what was taking place and with peace with what was really holding me back and be on that better vibe now. It's like, okay, I released that. You know, I, I put it on my, you know, I, this is my spiritual diary that I put on because there'll be so many different people that may be going through different stuff like this. And they're, they're scared to speak up for themselves because of the family stuff. You know, we got to keep this in the family. No, stuff like that. When you're being unapologetic, like this has really wounded me. This is what really held me back. Let me allow myself to speak on this. You know, and God guided me towards that. He guided me like that for a reason. I may not understand, but when I prayed on it and I, you know, I did what I had to do before I made that video, you know, it made me feel so much better after I pushed that out and just allowing God to, you know, do the rest. Universe, God said, I'm, I'm going to take care of you. I needed you to do that, but I need you to step out your comfort zone. And that was my comfort zone by not, you know, being able to to coddle different things you know allowing myself you know people are out here talking bad about you and they're lying on this they're lying on that you need to speak your truth you got proof you got receipts of everything that's going on and you allowed yourself to release that now you can be free from those situations now you can move on you know this situation done got me to where I'm, I'm more powerful than I ever thought I realized you know being able to know I can help somebody else get through their trauma that is is hard for them to come into connections with because that situation really messed you up you know and these are the different things that saying no it's not going to be easy you know facing the things that really scarred you to the I mean to the core it really scarred you it's not easy to confront those things but you will see holding on to these things that you fear holding on to these things that hurt you hold on to these things that made you mad it holds you back from being a better person a lot of times we feel like it's hard to forgive different people because it feel like we're condoning what they did no it's just the fact is you know god gonna god gonna deal with that but when you are allowing yourself to, I see what this is, is really holding me back from being a better person. This is why I'm losing sleep for it. I feel like things are not fair. I feel like this. And it's just like when I started paying attention to more of what my enemies were doing, that allowed me to really block what got going on. That enlightenment that really needs to come in tune with everybody and everything that's taking place in that situation. But allowing myself, you know, I forgive my aunts and uncles. I forgive my mom's ex-husband and his wife and their kids. I forgive my ex and my kids like that. Let me allow myself to move because I'm not going to allow myself to keep losing sleep over things that I cannot control. You know, different things of what other people choose to do behind closed doors or different things they want to lie on me and do. I know I'm going to stay true to myself. If I know who I am to the core of me, you can't tell me who I am. You can sit up here and say that all day, but I know for sure who I am. And nothing or anything that is not that's connecting me that is going to be based off a narrative negative, uh, negative narrative, it's not going to bother me because I know I'm pure at heart. You know, I know I'm strength at heart. And I know there's different things that I've came, you know, I, I allow myself to be responsible for my own actions. Nobody's not perfect. We all have done different things. There's some people that still move through, you know, scars. And there's some people that use those scars and turn them into blessings and still be moving and helping other people to do the same thing. None of us are perfect. We all make mistakes. There's a lot of times we based our actions on different things where we feel like we didn't have, we feel like we deserve, or we feel like this was stolen from us, or we feel like that could have been me type vibration, comparison, competition, all those different things. You know, but I, I know what I'm doing. 
I know what I have to be responsible for and just being able to allow myself to be liberated from the demons that helped me constantly that kept me up at night that kept me emotionally eating it kept me depressed it kept me angry sad enraged and just being able to allow myself to transmute that and give that something that can empower me allowing myself to move through unapologetically just to be able to say I'm in my power I'm in my one within myself I'm that warrior from true all the way to tone there's something I never allowed myself to even know I can be able to conquer within myself seeing my power for what it is it can scare me but it can scare me into moving in actions I never thought possible allowing myself to move forward and not question you know if I know I'm moving positively I'm doing things on you know positive intent I'm speaking through a love language who you just don't know what blessings of doors you're opening for yourself when you do that you know because the devil and you know negative energies want you to be able to see different things is going on in your life they really just it, it, it can be feeling like all hell broke loose in your life and these are the different things that want you to make it you know devil and enemies can be standing right in front of a door that's already open waiting for us to walk in It'll be to that point when you start looking the devil in his face and saying, you are not going to stop me. God behind me. I don't care how many of y'all are in front of me that's trying to block me. God got me. And when he tell me to move through that door, I'm going to push past you and move through that door. And that's what you're going to be doing. And this is when you understand. You understood the assignment. These are the different things that brought you to know yourself from the core. Understanding that person that strongly needs your acknowledgement. When we're hey, oh, cause we don't go, we don't move through nothing that is petty. Something that is just like you, you know, uh, like smile put the wrong letter in the mail. You, you going through some real hardcore stuff where people feel like you cannot overcome the things that you have been hit with. And when you miraculously do, because there's a lot of things that we we have faced in life, we have got stuck in. We have done these different things that where we felt like there ain't no coming back from this. Or, excuse me, or you just, there's different things that you know that really shook you to the core where you really don't see a beautiful uh, a light at the end of the tunnel for that. And it's going to get to that point where you know you're getting very serious about yourself. You know you are saving yourself. You, you, you can't wait for somebody to come save you. You can't wait to see a superhero. You are your own superhero. You want to know, you know, you have to be able to love yourself. You know, you want love to come in your life. You have to love yourself ultimately, you know, no matter what. Because you, when you do that, you're, going to not, you're not going to allow somebody who's going to mistreat you or anything like that. You're going to have that love where nobody's perfect. You know, you'll be in a relationship that is really strongly where God designed that for you. And there'll be different times where you know no relationship is perfect, no marriage is perfect. But if you know you're with that person, it's worth fighting for. You know, there'll be different things where it's going to really test your marriage. It's going to be really testing your relationship. Because right now, like if you're in a twin flame situation right now, you're probably going through the worst of the worst. Like every time me and my, my twin flame come to the union, there's always something that's sitting in the middle of it. It's this, this, and this, and that. And if you realize when it comes to that twin flame dynamic, there's actually nothing in that middle. You have to understand that's all a, a illusion of what we fear most is already inside that we allow ourselves to get distracted by it. Because you, twin flames are one, one. They're always with you, no matter what. They're in you, you are them. They are you. And there is no actual separation. It's only illusions to make us feel that way you know and you're healing through those different things because it's like when y'all finally come into that connection this is something that nobody's supposed to break so you had to go through those different things when you went through a shadow of a doubt or you felt like you weren't good enough or you felt like they weren't going to love you or they're not going to care for you or anything like that because anything that's genuine they're not going to worry about what you look like they're not going to worry about what kind of weight you are all these different things all they're going to see is you they're going to know you past the flesh you know, there'll be a lot of times people put, oh, you know, if I make that person fat or I make them too skinny, nobody going to want them. If it's ultimate, you go past that flesh. It's about how them souls communicate with each other because y'all both got the same souls. It's just split in two, you know, and that love that that's that's love that cannot be forged in any kind of way. It can't, cannot be duplicated. Y'all have to go through the trenches with each other. So it's going to show you when you finally commit towards each other in that 3D. There will be nothing that's going to tear y'all apart because you already went through the worst and y'all went through that worst together. Y'all had to go through it on your, you know, your feeling wound, you know, you're healing your wounds, you're healing your insecurities. All those things is coming up. 
You know, no average relationship does that. You went through those experiences of relationships that things fell when you did certain things wrong. You made poor choices. You you acted out of emotions instead of you know with your you know instead of your brain, whatever. So you're going through all these different things where you are dissolving those illusions. You're dissolving the the veils. You you took yourself out of that loop. So you're already knowing. There will be different things that you may have been looking at all this time. And then when you finally had that veil snatched off, you really seen it for what it is. And it was like this was that the whole time. Yeah, you were just in a vibration of a uh, illusionist loop. You know, and you know, devil and uh, his attachments, the harbingers want to keep you in that loop. They make you feel like you don't have what it takes to get out. You know, or this is going to be your permanent duty station. Where you're at is where your practice, pra practice test was to explore, to go bigger. You know, you had to go through these different situations like that. That's why you had to go through the dark. You know, you planted those seeds. You That's where the healing goes through, through the shadow work. You know, through the um, upliftment. You know, being able to have faith in yourself. Believing in yourself. You know, yes, it's hard to be able to go through this stuff every day. But, you you know, you had to be at that point to be able to tell yourself, yes, it's hard to be able to go through this. But I'm learning so much more about myself. I'm being patient with myself. Understanding the processes. You know, I already won. I'm just clearing the things out to be able to atone that, being able to accept. I already won. I already won my battle. I'm just clearing my slate. I'm allowing myself to stay focused. I'm allowing myself to not be led astray. I'm allowing myself to be patient, even though patient can be very un unbearing. But you're allowing yourself to know that God wants you to be able to understand why he makes you wait so long. You're going to understand why he took certain people out of your life. You're going to understand why he made you go in a different direction. You're going to understand why you didn't get certain jobs. You know, or you didn't get, you know, something that sounded like it, it was an opportunity of a lifetime. You know, there will be certain things you won't understand why these different things has happened. Because these are the things that's making you feel like you're unbeatable. You know, if it's something that's happening, don't think I can't. If it knocks me down, don't think I can't build myself back up a lot stronger than I did when I fell down. Being able to know that this must be something really good. Or if, if it wasn't, it wouldn't be so hard to become in, in, into that. You know, it'll be certain things is just, it, it's really challenging you. And it's allowing you to uh, get that aha moment. Like, I'm glad I went through these different things now. You know, when it comes to certain people in my life or different things, I'm allowing myself to really see what is that person projecting to me. What What is the certain things that, you know, I have to look between the blur, blurred lines that they can't place those smoking mirrors in front of me. You know, am I allowing myself to not take it personal when people are doing all they can to distract me and make me second guess myself. You know, allowing myself to be able to, be, you know, everything is for our own benefit. And when we know that, you flipping up, you flipping the script of that paradigm. And you're going to be really appreciative of every single thing you go through. You may not feel that now, but these are the different things. This is what made you a powerful ultimate you. You know, you are that hybrid. These are the different things that our ancestors prepared us for. These are the different ones. Our tribe is just like really getting us for it. Because there's a lot of people, like I said before, I'd be getting them images. Like there'll be different people walking in canyons. They're trying to understand like you have different vibrations. You be, you know, daydreaming or you can be dreaming or you can be uh, lucid dreaming or you're going through astral projection. You're seeing different things. It's like, you, you know, people are already hitting 12D right now. And that mess is uncomfortable. And it'll be making you scared of yourself like, dag, am I really holding this much power? Because you, you're feeling that power that's going into you. And this is the reason why you, it's like you're going through the gauntlet. You know, the pen of the pendulum and jump like that. Different things that make you feel like you're going through a sacrifice. But this is where you, you got to know. You, 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 the, ugh. You, you something that, that just can't be forged. Nobody can't duplicate you. You are your best weapon. You are your best weapon. You had to understand that. That's why everybody is not going to support you. That's why there are going to be people that are just not going to like you just because your energy speak before you do. You don't have to try hard to get people to notice you. They already noticed you just because that vibe that you hold. You know, so allow yourself to appreciate everything that you're going through. You know, at times it's hard to be able to do that, but you're going to get to that aha moment. Like, these are the things that I really had to know about myself. These are the things I love about myself. And you, it's like everything that you faced that just really challenged you. You want to appreciate that because it really showed you about yourself that you never knew that was there. So, I hope you were able to resonate with the content of that. I would love to give a post notification shout out. To um, 
Fall uh, Carl Fouquet, much love to you. And uh, Drea, much love to you. Welcome to the fam. And Kalisha, uh, much love to you. Welcome to the fam as well. If you're new to the channel, please drop a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Um, and please share, you know, give a thumbs up as well. My contact information is in the description box below. Um, it's all about spiritual networking. You know, you may be going through different things into your life and you're really trying to understand why these things are happening. You know, things are unfolding for us to be able to find a clue of you. You know, it's, uh, all these different things is taking you back to yourself. It's all rerouting towards yourself. And I love to be a part of that blessing just to be able to wear healing and helping us support each other. You know, um... And just trying to understand the deeper part of our purpose. So, you know, I love being a part of that with others, you know, as you're helping me. Because I always feel like it's a, like a teacher-student situation. We're all helping each other heal. We are all are helping ourselves to know things. Even through the negative circumstances is allowing us to really see ourselves on different, you know, dynamics, you know. So, you're really learning about that. So, I love to be a part of that. Um, and whatever we speak on is highly confidential. You know, I help my, I try my best to help you out the way I can. Um, I also, I share, you know, different uh, posts on here, whether it's empaths, memes, uh, different things that may be going on right now. They may be challenging you. There's a lot of different, you know, you're closing out cycles. And a lot of that stuff is really hitting heavy right now. It's been telling you to go through solitude. You have to be one with yourself. You know, you feel detached and stuff like this. You don't feel a part of your life anymore because you're closing doors on the old and entering in the new. So, you know, I've been trying to make sure that I push out stuff, you know, like that. I've been in solitude, but it was just a blessing that I had like a lot of different videos I didn't have yet to upload so I was just like I kept pushing those out and just taking time for myself you know just you know pouring into everybody else's cup and just recharge to do your own as well so uh you know it is what it is but you know I, I'm glad that y'all support my videos and all the subscribe you know subscribes and views I really truly appreciate that and um yeah if you ever feel generous enough to drop a donation you know cash their is there as well you know whatever you're trying to uh whatever manage you're trying to bring into your fruition you know whatever vibes you're needing whether it's consistency you know hope believing healing you know um just just staying productive i'm sending a million towards you 10 million follows of vibes you know that helps uplift you in any kind of way you know know your light know your your purpose you know you truly matter don't allow somebody else to tell you different you know you have a bright light and you got huge potential within yourself you know and the devil and the enemies will try to contradict you on that so you know make you want to give up today just because you know blessings are coming in tomorrow so allow yourself to keep going okay much love to you Oh, what, what I was about to say. Oh, yeah, social social distancing. Make sure you give, you know, love, light, positivity, words, by frequencies. You never know. All those things really take somebody a long way. And just because you're doing that, you know, through peace and love, it's going to take you even further. You know, please have a safe, uh, responsible week. You know, sending love in abundance in every form, every level, every avenue that you truly need it, plus so much more. And much love to you. God bless. Namaste. Shalom. I say peace.